Hello, my name is Miriam. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Good, um, Miriam. So, Miriam, how do you feel? Um, no, not bad, but um, Good. it's rare because I I feel uh my my ay, ¿cómo se ha ido? My ear, my ear. My ears. Um, well, my ear bright. Um, it's uh. Um, my my ear hurts. Me ido duele. It's a uh, cover it. Cover it. Ah. Tap yes, tapado, no? It's yeah. a, it's a stuff. It's a stuff. Yeah. But oh, that's what me and did, did you go to the doctor finally? No, um, my mother told me, um, yes, this is a the special, special okay, yeah. doctor. Very good, yes. So, but uh, I, I, I is stressy, I feel stressed because it's oh, come on, this is stuff my error. Um, mm. no, I don't like it. Yes, man. That, that can be desperating. Yes, I know. I know, man. Okay. Mira, and what about last week? How was last week for you? Um, I stay with my family in Mexico City in the in the grandmother house. Okay, good. Okay, mira. Um, did, did you and your family go out? No, exactly. My my father um in the in last week um went to Culiacan because um right. the and the, I could I can you teach can you remember torneo? A very similar tournament 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 and in um, baseball. So okay. yeah. And ah, my, okay. But my mother the work in the week and my brother and I um I had holidays so my mother the okay um they all and the, my brother my mother and I um they went to Mexico City because my mom worked in Mexico City so yeah. Ah, so you stayed ah, okay, okay. So you, your mom was working. Yes. Very good, Miriam. Good. Miriam, and tell me, Miriam, how was your day today, Miriam? <clears throat> um, the normal day. Um, my class is boring. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So today you have classes. Yes. All right. Very good, Miriam. Good, Miriam. Good. Miriam. Ah, okay, it's good that you're here, Miriam. Okay, so Miriam. Try to get well, me and go to the doctor. Are you? I have a question. Are you taking any medication? No. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay I, I, I try um the the wash my hair. I try to the the cigarette and the all things, but my my hair no is the no my hair the take decision the no stuff stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Mira, maybe it's a stung. Remember, mira, stung, inflamado. Maybe it's a stung, mira. Maybe, but mm. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow, um, I I went to the doctor in the the farm, the no, the gro the grocery, the drug, the his grocery. The drug um, drugstore, drugstore, drugstore. Drugstore, yeah. Good. The drugstore, but because I I am stressing. In my area, so yeah, Miriam, that, that is yes, yes, I know. I have had that feeling sometimes, yes, and yes, Miriam, it's desperating, okay. Okay, Miriam, very good. Man. Okay, Miriam, I'm going to share the, the board, okay, with you, okay, and let's continue, okay, with the practice of the oh, top of my yes. my activities in recreation, but in the mirror, no, all right, very good, okay, 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 yes, don't worry, okay, so. Let, let, let's continue with the listening, okay, for the top four listening practice. And then we will answer some of the activities for, <laughs> for grammar, okay? So, okay, so let's start with unit three, okay, inference questions, okay? I will read it. it says, inference is defined as attempt to generalize on the basis of limited information. 
inferring is a way of suggesting something. Therefore, you should understand that the speaker is presenting information without directly stating it. Make an inference is making a good guess. You need to understand many parts of the, of the listening material to answer inference questions so you can judge what the speaker is really saying. So note taking is very important when doing these types of questions. Use the following helpful hints to answer the example questions. For example, conversation inference, questions start like this. What does the girl or the boy imply about? What is probably true about? What does the girl boy suggest about? What does the girl imply when she asks the boy to? Is that for example, strategy one, listen for repetition. If you hear the same words or phrases repeated many times, they are probably important to the listening. Sometimes the keywords will be repeated as synonyms, while some phrases will have the same meaning, but will be spoken at a, a little differently. So do not listen strictly for the exact same vocabulary, but for speech that re repeats the same ideas many times. Primero, improve your paraphrasing ability, please. Paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is discussed in the previous detailed sections. Paraphrasing re relates all to inference questions because having quick much or main, main ideas and details usually all, all uh, allows. Very good. Allows you. Make a good guess. Good. He says the following example illustrates inference strategies and provides you with one inference example questions. Okay, um, he says, listen to a conversation between two friends at the school. Okay, man, a young boy, he says, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Not much, and you? Working on a computer project that's due this month. It's hard work tough. We need another group member. Why? What happened to Will? To Bill? Good. But it would hit up the class, so we need a fourth person. Do you have a group yet? Oh, yes, I am already in a group. Sorry, it will be nice to be on your team. That's okay. I try asking someone else. We just don't have enough time without an extra pair of hands. Question, what does the boy imply about the project? A, B, will be responsible if he gets a failing grade. B, it will only be successful if the gear is part of this group. C, it won't be as good as with only three people working on it. And D, he isn't very good at the project because it's about computers. Okay, so let's listen to that. Okay, very good. Listen to that. Unit three, inference questions. <laughs> Example dialogue excerpt. Listen to a conversation between two friends at school. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Not much, and you? Working on the computer project that's due this month. It's hard work, though. We need another group member. Why? What happened to Bill? He dropped the class, so we need a fourth person. Do you have a group yet? Oh, yes. I'm already in a group. Sorry. It would have been nice to be on your team. That's okay. I'll try asking someone else. We just don't have enough time without an extra pair of hands. Pero so here, he says, what does the boy imply about the project? He basically says, I repeat the information with different words. For example, here, we need another group member equals, equals to an extra pair of hands. Okay. So, I mean, what does the boy imply about the project? Imply es la comunicación, ¿no? Como... Exactly. Implica lo que quiere decir de proyecto. But mira, considering, considering these phrases, or these phrases, we need another group member and an extra pair of hands. So there, mira, if there is a hidden message, in un mensaje oculto, there is a hidden message about the project. So mira, what is, mira, what is the hidden message? According to the options, okay. Very good. It will, it won't be as good with only three people working on it. Why? Because they need, they need another person. Good and good, okay. 
The following example illustrates inference studies and provides you with one inference example question. For example, listen to the conversation between a student and a school principal. I mean, I am a student. Good afternoon, Mr. Levitt. You wanted to see me? I did. Sit down, please, Mark. I want to discuss. No, 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 no. Nominating no, you. Nominating you for Wait. a free spot at the new leaders of tomorrow. Come this this summer. Will you be interested? Give me a doubt. 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 What is doubt? Doubt. Juventud. Doubt leaders. Leaders de la juventud. Todo junto. Doubt leaders of tomorrow. Doubt leaders of tomorrow. Leaders de la juventud del mañana. Leaders de la juventud del mañana. Okay. Okay, that will be amazing, but I'm not sure if I can go. Really? Why not? The school board will be paying the full tuition. 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 Tuition of the camp. Mira, what, what is, is tuition? Very good. Tuition. Mira, tuition. Mira, is quota. Tarifa. Tuition. Quota. Tarifa. Oh, teacher. Um, yes. In the recreo, um. I see uh, the, 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 the words free for me in the part the, uh, I don't remember, but it's uh, the exercise, it's um, yes. the, the, for example, the meals and the, the I and the, the, the relation mm -hmm. with the, 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 the answers. Yes. The answers. For example, the meals is the word, and in the in my answers, the time of the eat on the the you eat. El tiempo para comer algo así. Oh, okay, baby. Um, and I I know um I don't I don't know in the two words, but I forget. Okay, okay. Remind me that. Remind me that at the end of the class and we will check it, okay? On recreo. Yes. Okay. okay. So, okay, so, well, there is there is a problem here. The cab is to California. I cannot afford the plane ticket to get there from here. Actually, we, we told of that the school board will pay for the plane ticket. We know how important this is for this opportunity it's to you. Really? You will do that for me? How can I repay you? We want you to get good rates on the camp if you go. That is all we ask. The camp begins June 23. 23rd, 23rd, 23rd. Good. Let me know your decision this week. Very good, man. So here, man, remember, when they repeat information, but with different words, that information is important, for example. The school board will be paying the full tuition of the camp. And then they paraphrase this one. The school board will be paying for the plane ticket. So what can be inferred about the boy's decision to attend camp? The boy will attend the summer camp. The boys doesn't want to go to the camp. The boy cannot afford to attend the camp. The boy was nominated to go to the camp. I mean, listen to that, okay? Let's listen. Example dialogue excerpt. Listen to a conversation between a student and school principal. Good afternoon, Mr. Levitt. You wanted to see me? I did. Sit down, please, Mark. I want to discuss nominating you for a free spot at the Youth Leaders of Tomorrow camp this summer. Would you be interested? That would be amazing, but I'm not sure if I can go. Really? Why not? The school board will be paying the full tuition of the camp. Well, there's a problem, sir. The camp is in California. I cannot afford the plane ticket to get there from here. Actually, we thought of that. The school board will be paying for the plane ticket. We know how important this opportunity is to you. Really? You would do that for me? How can I repay you? 
We want you to get good grades at the camp if you go. That is all we ask. The camp begins June 23rd. Let me know your decision this week. What can be inferred about the boy's decision to attend camp? What can be inferred about the boy's decision to attend the camp? But, yes, it's true. Yes, good. Yes. The boy will attend the summer camp. Why? Because the school is paying for the plane ticket and the school is paying for the tuition of the camp. Although, although the student did have money, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay. Why? Because the school will be paying for those things. Okay. Good, man. Good. Okay. It says strategy three, listen to the speaker's tone. Tone is covered more in depth in other, um, but it can be a useful strategy for inference also. If a student voice matches a specific emotion, it is likely an answer choice will reflect that tone. The following example illustrates inference studies and provides you with one inference example question. For example, listen to a conversation between two students as they leave the classroom. Okay, I will be the German. This one word is insane. I can't believe how much we have to do over a spring break. I know. They were they they there won't be much of a break once we're finished at it all. I think I may ask my mom to talk to the principal. I want to relax, okay, on my vacation. I I am with you, dear. Very good. Okay, so let's listen, okay. Example dialogue excerpt. Listen to a conversation between two students as they leave the classroom. This homework is insane. I can't believe how much we have to do over spring break. I know. There won't be much of a break once we're finished it all. I think I may ask my mom to talk to the principal. I want to relax on my vacation. I'm with you there. What is probably true about the students? Okay, it says A. They think the teacher is insane. B, they are angry the break is so short. C, they are happy to be on a spring break. D, they are upset with the homework assignment. That is his opinion. No. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, no. Um, <laughs> so look at the quantity says he's saying I can't believe okay I want to relax okay so the why is the general idea the main idea I mean they are Maybe. upset with the yeah. homework assignment very good exactly very good conversation example it says it's it's insane ah, in, in, insane insano loco okay insano loco okay very good. Okay, so here is the conversation. An example is a listen to a conversation between two friends at the school. I and the boy, hey, what are you doing tomorrow afternoon? I want to go to the park and play some frisbee. I was hoping you wanted to join me. Um, I have to rest up tomorrow. I have my championship game on Sunday. The championship is on Sunday. Wow, good luck. I'm sure you'll do great. Uh, I certainly hope so. I am really nervous, but our team is strong this year. Anyway, I am sorry I can't play with you tomorrow. Maybe next weekend. Okay, no problem. I'll see if our other friends want to go. I'll give you a call next time. I want to play to see if you can come. Very good, man. Okay, so let's listen to that. Conversation example. Listen to a conversation between two friends at school. Hey, what are you doing tomorrow afternoon? I want to go to the park and play some frisbee. I was hoping you wanted to join me. I have to rest up tomorrow. I have my championship game on Sunday. The championship is on Sunday? Wow, good luck. I'm sure you'll do great. I certainly hope so. 
I'm really nervous, but our team is strong this year. Anyway, I'm sorry I can't play with you tomorrow. Maybe next weekend. Ah, uh, okay. No problem. I'll see if our other friends want to go. I'll give you a call next time I want to play to see if you can come. What is probably true about the girl? Hey, she's going to call the boy later. She will not play with you tomorrow. Very good. She's playing in a championship today. She wants the boy to go to the park Saturday. Exactly. Very good. She will not play with you tomorrow. Good. So man, here we have another activity for dictation. Okay. It says. I hate the dictation. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, something that can be kind of um, confusing, but it's a good practice. It says, listen to conversation between a student and a teacher. Okay, I am a teacher, okay? Hi, Chloe. Is everything going okay with your project? William? Oh, um, well, well, actually. I, okay. Oh, really? What are the problems? Is everyone working together? Oh, I well, Oh, really? Okay. Well, know. well, that's just it. Everybody is working together except for Raymond. He's a friend of mine and I like him, but everyone else had to do the more work. Very good. Have you tried talking to him? We have, but I don't think it's fair if he gets the same grade as everyone else in the group. Well, Chloe, about the group members after this project is over. If everyone else in your group says the same thing about Raymond, he won't get a very high grade. Okay, thanks, Mr. Stevens. I tell the rest of my group. Excellent, man. Okay, so please listen, okay? Please listen. Dictation. Listen to a conversation between a student and a teacher. Hi, Chloe. Is everything going okay with your project? Well, actually, I'm having some problems with my group. Oh, really? What are the problems? Is everyone working together? Well, that's just it. Everybody is working together, except for Raymond. He's a friend of mine, and I like him, but everyone else has to do more work because Raymond hasn't done anything. Have you tried talking to him? We have, but he seems to think we'll do it all. I don't think it's fair if he gets the same grade as everyone else in the group. Well, Chloe, I'll have all students fill out questionnaires about their group members after this project is over. If everyone else in your group says the same thing about Raymond, he won't get a very high grade. Okay, thanks, Mr. Stevens. I'll tell the rest of my group. Um, I think the, this, what is probably true about Raymond? I think the, the distinction between is kind of easy, okay? So listen again. Listen to a conversation between a student and a teacher. Hi, Chloe. Is everything going okay with your project? Well, actually, I'm having some problems with my group. Oh, really? What are the problems? Is everyone working together? Well, that's just it. Everybody is working together, except for Raymond. He's a friend of mine, and I like him, but everyone else has to do more work because Raymond hasn't done anything. Have you tried talking to him? We have, but he seems to think we'll do it all. I don't think it's fair if he gets the same grade as everyone else in the group. Well, Chloe, I'll have all students fill out questionnaires about their group members after this project is over. If everyone else in your group says the same thing about Raymond, he won't get a very high grade. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Stevens. I'll tell the rest of my group. What is probably true about Raymond? Very good. Very good. Listen again. Good. I think it's good. Good, good, good. Dictation. Listen to a conversation between a student and a teacher. Hi, Chloe. 
Is everything going okay with your project? Well, actually, I'm having some problems with my group. Oh, really? What are the problems? Is everyone working together? Well, that's just it. Everybody is working together, except for Raymond. He's a friend of mine, and I like him, but everyone else has to do more work because Raymond hasn't done anything. Have you tried talking to him? We have, but he seems to think we'll do it all. I don't think it's fair if he gets the same grade as everyone else in the group. Well, Chloe, I'll have all students fill out questionnaires about their group members after this project is over. If everyone else in your group says the same thing about Raymond, he won't get a very high grade. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Stevens. I'll tell the rest of my group. What is probably true about Raymond? Okay, this one more time, and this I will stop on each sentence, okay? Dictation. Listen to a conversation between a student and a teacher. Hi, Chloe. Is everything going okay with your project? Well, actually, I'm having some problems with my group. Oh, really? Let me is I'm having some problems with my group. I'm having I'm having some problems with my group. <laughs> some problems. I'm having some problems with my group. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. I'm having. Okay, let's continue. What are the problems? Is everyone working together? Well, that's just it. Everybody is working together, except for Raymond. He's a friend of mine, and I like him, but everyone else has to do more work because Raymond hasn't done anything. Hasn't done. Because Raymond hasn't done... Everything. Hasn't done anything. Anything. That's Very good. Very good. Okay, good. Have you tried talking to him? We have, but he seems to think we'll do it all. I don't think it's fair if he gets the same grade as everyone else in the group. We have, okay, but, let me say, but, okay, he seems to think. He, he seems to think, I don't know, he, he seems to think, <laughs> he seems to think we'll do it all, we'll, we will, we will do it all. Uh, he seems to think we will do it all. Do, do it all. Do it all. Very good. Very good. Well, Chloe, I'll have all students fill out questionnaires about their group members. Then I'll have. I'll have. All students. Questionnaires. Fill out. Very good. I'll have all the students fill out. Field. Field. Okay. Exactly. Very good. Yes. Fill out questionnaires. Questionnaires. Ah. Anyway, questionnaires. Look at this. Questionnaires. Nice. Very good. Very good. Okay. Good. 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 
after this project is over. If everyone else in your group says the same thing about Raymond, he won't get a very high grade. Okay, thanks, Mr. Stevens. I'll tell the rest of my group. Okay, well, let's read out that what is probably true about Raymond. That is complete. Okay, he says, Hi, Chloe. Is everything going okay with your project? Well, actually, I am having some problems with my group. Oh, really? What are the problems? Is everyone working together? Well, that's just it. Everybody's working together except for Raymond. He's a friend of mine and I like him, but everyone else had to do more homework because Raymond hasn't done anything. Have you tried talking to him? Uh, we have, but he seems to think we will do it all. I don't think it's fair if he gets this, the same grade as everyone else in the group. Well, Chloe, I have always since filled out questionnaires about the group members after this project is over. If anyone else in your group says the same thing about Raymond, he won't get a very high grade. Okay, thanks, Mr. Stevens. I tell the rest of my group. Okay, so what is probably true about Raymond? He's a great friend. He isn't a good student. He always gets high grades. He doesn't like questionnaires. What is probably true about Raymond? He isn't a good student. Why? Because, like, yeah, okay. Raymond hasn't done anything, okay? Excellent, mm -hmm. very good, okay, so let, let's move on. It says, practice test, it says, question one. It says, what are the students mainly discussing? A, a way for the gear to catch up in class. B, the information from last week's class. C, the gear being in trouble with her family. And D, that the gear missed an important class on Wednesday. Mira, please, number two, what, why was the gear Um, what was the girl not in class? A, she was worrying about her family. B, she was at the phone, at the phone, at home helping her full mother. C, he needed to sleep, to sleep after the, tra the tragedy, the tragedy. Tragedy, tragedy. Good. B, she was enjoying time with her aunt and uncle. Okay, number three, what did the boy imply about the class that the girl missed? It wasn't very difficult or interesting. It wasn't a good, as good since she wasn't there. It was a review session of last week's work. It was an important class with a lot of information. Number four. Um, what are the girls' aunt and uncle staying and the on her house. Okay. A, they helped the girls' parents. B, they had a fire in the in their house. C, okay. their house is under renovation. Okay. D, they are on vacation for the week. Good. Why is the talking to the librarian? She needs to find a French teacher. She needs help finding specific books. She has never used the school library. She always get help from Mr. Stockpole. Yeah, number six. I, what does Mr. Stockpole imply when he say, did you ask for French teacher for a specific title? A, he knows a lot, of, a lot about French liter literature. B, he doesn't know who the school French teacher is. Good. See, he thinks the French teacher is the right person to ask. Good. He is happy that Lauren asked him in, instead of a French teacher. Very good. What is probably true about the girl? She took French classes in the past. She will win the French poetry contest. She often spends time in the school library. She's too nervous to use a library without help. Mm. 
Number eight, why? Why can't the girl use the French books in the school library? Um, a, they are in poetry, poetry books. B, mm. they are all translated into English. C, they have been loaned to other students. D, they are in a pro French teacher. Very good, man. Okay, man. As usual, let's listen to all of them. And then on the second time, let's answer, okay? The first time, just listen, okay, to get the idea. Yes. Practice test. Questions one through four. Listen to a conversation between two students as they leave the classroom. Diane, can I talk to you for a minute? Okay, what's going on? Well, I was wondering why you miss class on Wednesday. We usually go together and you never showed. I'm sorry. My mom asked me to stay home from school and help her get the house ready. Some family members are staying with us. My aunt and uncle had a fire in their home and needed a place to stay. I am very sorry to hear that. Do you want some help with the work you missed? You will not be able to understand the next few chapters if you don't do the work from Wednesday's class. Sure. Let's arrange a time to meet when we are both free. How about next week? Okay. I have basketball practice on Thursday, but that's all. Would Tuesday afternoon be okay? Sure. Tuesday is good. It's really generous of you to do this. If you ever need a favor, I'm happy to do it for you. Don't worry. I'm happy to help you out. I'm sorry your family is going through such hard times. Thanks. I really appreciate it. See you Tuesday. Now answer the questions. Number one. What are the students mainly discussing? Okay, let's listen to the other questions, okay? Questions five through eight. Listen to a conversation between a student and a librarian at school. Hi, Mr. Stackpole. I'm sorry I'm late for our meeting. Don't worry about it, Lauren. How can I help you today? Well, I wanted to meet with you because I want to find some books in French. I can't find any in our library. Okay. Did you ask your French teacher for specific titles? Actually, no. I'm not taking French this term. I could have asked my old teacher, but I decided to check with the library first. What kind of books are you looking for? I want to participate in the French Poetry Contest next month, so I need to choose a poem to recite. I guess I need a French poetry book. To be honest, Lauren, I'm not sure we have any books that are in French. I know we have some French works in our poetry section, but all the poems have been translated into English. Oh, no. That's a problem. What should I do? I think you should ask your old French teacher for suggestions. It was Miss Stewart, right? She may have some French poetry books that she could lend to you. If not, she'll know where you can find some. Okay, Mr. Stackpole. That's a good idea. Thanks for your help. Now answer the questions. Number five. Why is the girl talking to the librarian? Okay, listen again, Miriam, and this time, yes, answer, okay? Good. Yes. Practice test. Questions one through four. Listen to a conversation between two students as they leave the classroom. Diane. Can I talk to you for a minute? Okay, what's going on? Well, I was wondering why you miss class on Wednesday. We usually go together and you never showed. I'm sorry. My mom asked me to stay home from school and help her get the house ready. Some family members are staying with us. My aunt and uncle had a fire in their home and needed a place to stay. I am very sorry to hear that. 
Do you want some help with the work you missed? You will not be able to understand the next few chapters if you don't do the work from Wednesday's class. Sure. Let's arrange a time to meet when we are both free. How about next week? Okay. I have basketball practice on Thursday, but that's all. Would Tuesday afternoon be okay? Sure. Tuesday is good. It's really generous of you to do this. If you ever need a favor, I'm happy to do it for you. Don't worry. I'm happy to help you out. I'm sorry your family is going through such hard times. Thanks. I really appreciate it. See you Tuesday. Now answer the questions. Number one. What are the students mainly discussing? Okay, he's in the second part, right? Yes. Questions five through eight. Listen to a conversation between a student and a librarian at school. Hi, Mr. Stackpole. I'm sorry I'm late for our meeting. Don't worry about it, Lauren. How can I help you today? Well, I wanted to meet with you because I want to find some books in French. I can't find any in our library. Okay. Did you ask your French teacher for specific titles? Actually, no. I'm not taking French this term. I could have asked my old teacher, but I decided to check with the library first. What kind of books are you looking for? I want to participate in the French Poetry Contest next month, so I need to choose a poem to recite. I guess I need a French poetry book. To be honest, Lauren, I'm not sure we have any books that are in French. I know we have some French works in our poetry section, but all the poems have been translated into English. Oh, no. That's a problem. What should I do? I think you should ask your old French teacher for suggestions. It was Miss Stewart, right? She may have some French poetry books that she could lend to you. If not, she'll know where you can find some. Okay, Mr. Stackpole. That's a good idea. Thanks for your help. Now answer the questions. Number five. Why is the girl talking to the librarian? Very good. Uh, I don't see. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> They are in poetry. No. Uh, we'll see. Creo que según yo está, pero no me acuerdo. Le había escuchado y se me fue. Okay. Oye, right, man, don't worry. Let's check. Okay, says, question one. What are the students mainly discussing? Is that the girl is missing an important class on Wednesday? Very good. Why was the girl not in class? Um, según, según yo, she was at home helping her mother. Exactly. Good, man. Smart, man. What does the boy imply about the class that the girl missed? It was an important class with a lot of, of information. Good. Why are the girls aunt and uncle staying at her house? They had a fire in their house. Excellent. Good. Why is Aguirre talking to the librarian? She needs to find a French. No es cierto. Es este, uh, needs, es... needs help finding a specific book. Finding? Según, finding? Find a specific books. Books, okay. Es <laughs> exactly. A specific book is about French, okay? Very uh -huh. good, very good, very good. What does Mr. Stackpole imply when he says, did you actually French teacher for a specific titles? Because he knows a lot of, of a lot of about French literature. Very good. Why is probably true about the gear? She will yeah, I see she, she taught yeah. French classes in the past. Exactly, because we don't know if she will she will win. Okay, yes. there's a probability. Okay, good. Why can the gear use the French books in the school library? They all all translate into English. Exactly, translated into English. 
Excellent, Miriam. Very good. Okay, Miriam. So let's move on, Miriam, to the grammar section of the topic. Very good. Okay. Okay. Let, let's answer some of the activities okay, that we have here. For example. Okay. Excuse me again. Let's answer Miriam, activity one. It says, from the four words or phrases, choose the one that best completes the sentence. I will read number one. The first systematic chart ever made of an ocean current by Benjamin Franklin. Polish, was Polish, publishing has been published. It's amazing, but you see, was published. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are we at? Number two. Petroleum on every continent and beneath. ¿Qué es esto? Mira, de beneath, mira, mira. Beneath. ¿Qué es esto? Mira, mira. Te lo escribo. Te lo escribo, mira. Beneath. Beneath, ahí está. Mira, mira, beneath, debajo de, debajo de. Ok. Very good. Beneath uh, every ocean is found, found, are found, find. Found. Petroleum, casi casi, mira, is found. Para que diga, el petróleo es encontrado en cada continente y debajo de cada océano. Okay. okay, Miriam. Number three, Miriam. Animals on Earth for at least 700 million years. Living, lived, have lived, have been lived. Lived. Yes, Miriam. Have lived. Yes, Miriam. Yes. Porque, Miriam, it speaks about the fact that began in the past, but it still continues into the present. Okay, but han vivido en la Tierra por al menos 700 millones de años. Okay, during the Ice Age, glaciers and retreated several times over large areas of the Earth. Had been advanced, were advanced, have advanced, advanced. Ay, it's very... Pide context, okay? Uh -huh. This is during the Ice Age, glaciers and... Pide context, durante la... El era, era de hielo. Entonces, fueron avanzando, ¿no? Fueron avanzado. Ahí dime, fueron, fueron avanzado. So, mm -hmm. Este bien, advance. Avanzaron y se regresaron muchas ocasiones. Good, bien, ok. Some fish distortions of electrical field through special receptors. Sense are sensing, are sense. Senses. Senses. Very good, Miriam. Very good. Yeah, Miriam. The widespread <laughs> use of oil and gas to make chemicals during the 1920s has begun, begun, beginning, begun. Forget, forget the widespread use of oil and gas to make chemicals during, forget the time of the in the past, during the 1920s. It's begun, no? Very good, Miriam. Begun. Exactly. Ay, exactly, Miriam. Very good. Okay. I'm going to share the link to Carlos and Kenya. Let's see if they connect. I hope they yes. are not too, uh, too, too I, busy. I go to the restroom? Of course. Yes, Miriam. Please go ahead. Yes.
Ahí va. Pégame, let's go. Okay, let's go with the book, okay? So I'm going to share the, the book with you, okay? So it's this one, okay? Okay, so here it's uh, the zombies is natural disaster. It says build the vocabulary and grammar. Listen, which picture goes with each news item? Number, number the pictures. Okay, first, listen, okay? Page 120, lesson B. Natural disasters. One, building vocabulary and grammar. A, listen, which picture goes with each news item? Number the pictures. One, the island of Puerto Rico was hit by Hurricane Calvin late this morning. Electric power was temporarily disrupted throughout the island and many homes were damaged by heavy rains and strong winds. Two. Quebec was hit by severe thunderstorms yesterday. Flights at several airports were delayed by heavy rains, thunder, and lightning. Last night, three families were rescued by emergency workers after their homes were damaged by flash floods resulting from the rains. 3. Firefighters in Australia say over 10,000 acres of forest were completely destroyed by catastrophic wildfires this year. Investigators suspect some fires were caused by careless campers. They believe other fires started when trees were struck by lightning. 4. A shopping mall in Kansas was badly damaged by a tornado last night. A nearby town was later hit by a freak hailstorm. Cars were struck by hailstones the size of golf balls. Amazingly, no one was seriously injured by the tornado or the storm. 5. A small town in Italy was struck by a minor earthquake this morning. The quake measured 4.9 on the Richter scale. Aftershocks were felt in several towns. Some homes were partially destroyed, but no serious injuries were reported. Okay, man. I, I will read the phrase, okay, it says, the island of Puerto Rico was hit by a hurricane Calvin late this morning. Electric power was temporarily disrupted throughout the island, and many homes were damaged by heavy rains and strong winds. Okay, number two, Quebec. Quebec was hit by several thunderstorms, just at several airports. Were delayed by heavy rains, thunder, and lightning. Last night, three families were recalled by emergency workers after their homes were damaged by flash floods resulting from the rains. Very good. Hear me on. Rescued. Rescued. Rescued again. Okay. So, number three, firefighters in Australia say over 10,000 acres of forest were completely destroyed by catastrophic wildfires this year. Investigators suspect some fires were caused by careless campers. They believe other fires started when trees were struck by lightning. A shopping mall in Kansas was badly damaged by a tornado last night. A nearby town was laid hit by a freak hailstorm. Cars were star struck by Halliston the size of, of golf balls. Amazingly, no, no one was seriously in, in huge, injured, injured, injured by the tornado or the storm. Tornado, 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 tornado okay? Yes, a small town in Italy was struck by a minor earthquake this morning. The quake measured 4.9 on the Richter scale. Aftershocks were felt in several towns. Some homes were partially destroyed, but no serious injuries were reported. Okay, man, please, please, please copy. Please, the title is Natural Disaster. And then, man, please, copy only the bold words. Man, copy las la, palabras en negritas, okay? Please, the title is this one, Natural Disasters, and then copy the bold words.
Okay, for example, the first one, okay, it says hit by, todo junto, mira, hit by, hit by, golpeado por, ah. golpeado por, hit by, golpeado por, exactly, hit by, hit by, golpeado por. Okay. Hurricane, hurricane, huracán, hurricane, hurricane, huracán. Disrupted, disrupted, ok. Fue cortado, interrumpido, interrumpido. Damage by, damage by, damage by, dañado por, damage by, dañado por. Heavy rains, ok, heavy rains. In... Dañado por. Exactly. Damage by, dañado por. Heavy ah. rains, ok. Heavy rains, lluvias intensas. Strong winds, strong winds, vientos fuertes. Severe thunderstorms, ok. Tormentas eléctricas severas. Tormentas eléctricas severas. Thunder and, line, and lightning. Thunder and lightning. Todo junto. Thunder and lightning. Ah, wait, wait. Pensé que iba a separar. Yes. Thunder and lightning. Uh -huh. Ok. Truenos y rayos. Truenos y rayos. Okay. Rescued, rescued by, rescued by, rescued by, rescatado por, I mean, flash floods, flash floods, ok, inundaciones repentinas, flash floods, inundaciones repentinas. Es que iba a notar repetida. Very good. No, no. <laughs> okay. I mean, obviously, destroyed by, también junto, destroyed by, destroyed by, destruido por. Okay. 
Catastrophic. Catastrophic wildfires. Catastrophic wildfire. Okay. Por incendios catastróficos. Incendios catastróficos. Y este, es struck by. Struck by. Struck by. Struck by. Golpeado por. Struck by. Golpeado por. Ah, super easy. Tornado. 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 Ok. Freak Hailstorm. Freak Hailstorm. Ok. Granizada fuerte. Granizada intensa. Hey, hailstones, 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 granizo, hailstones, granizo. Okay. Eso me da injured by, injured by, injured by, lastimado por o lastimada por. Puede ser masculino o femenino. Lastimado por o lastimada por. Okay. This one, minor earthquake. Minor earthquake. Okay. Un temblor menor. A minor earthquake. Un temblor menor. Y eso mira, es lo que también me da mucho miedo, que es esto. Aftershocks. Aftershocks. Esas son réplicas. Réplicas. Very good. Excelente. Very good. Ok. 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 So, mira, according to the reading, mira, which picture goes with each description? For example, it says, the island of Puerto Rico was hit by Hurricane Calvin late this morning. Electric power was temporarily disrupted throughout the island, and many homes were damaged by heavy rains and strong winds. So, number one, mira, must be, okay, primarily is a hurricane. We have to mean number one is four. This one? Four. Um, the, the match one is four. The match one is four. This one? Is the oh, no, no, mira, but look, look, he says, he says, by a, what's hit by a hurricane? Hurricane is in match two. Match two. Very good. Okay, so let, let's just wait here. Okay, very good. Let, let me. Let me get the markers, okay. So this is two, okay. Ah, oh, no, sorry, one, no? Thank you. Sorry. Very good. Okay. Which one is number two? It says, Quebec was hit by several thunderstorms. I can I know. I'm going to turn Ay, wait, wait, uh, tormentas. It's number Very three. Good. Number three. Very good. Okay. I will say three. Okay. Very good. Okay. Number four, Miriam. Firefighters in Australia say over 10,000 acres of forest were completely destroyed by catastrophic wildfires. Five. Exactly. It's a number. Ah, no, espera. <laughs> no, man. here here is number two. Sorry, okay. this is number two. Okay, this is number three. Very good. Okay, and number four. Okay, four is uh, number one. Number one, exactly. Very good. Four. Very good. Oh, sorry. Uh, finally, the uh, five is four. Exactly. Finally, is this one. Okay. Very good. Examine Very good. Okay. 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 So let's continue here, okay? Okay, I'm going to take this to the board, okay? And we will work it there, okay? Here. Okay. okay. Okay, I'm going to put it down, okay? Okay. Jimmy says, can you put these statements in the correct order? Okay. It says, I will read. 
firefighters rescued two families by where? Was Hailstone stock a car by? In your was seriously no one? Completely a mall destroyed was by fire. For example, firefighters rescued two families by where? Super easy. So two families. I'm going to make this. Two families, okay, were rescued by firefighters. Okay. Again, will you please answer number two, D, three, and four, please? Very good. Oh. I know Bill. Bill. Was KBC? Was his truck was true by a car? Seriously? It wasn't here, no one. And no one was. A car, remember to, you have to start with a car was. Ah, sí, sí. Ay. Yes, yeah, no one was, no, sí. no, okay, no, no, sí. no, 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 more let's um, to challenge by a fight baby well, i will defend your second he says two families were rescued by five fighters a car was struck by hailstone. Struck. Struck. Struck by. Very good. Ah, digo, number three. That one is no one was seriously injured. Uh. No one was seriously injured, okay? Good, yeah, number four, a mall. A mall was completely destroyed by a fire. Very good. Here, ma'am, let's put it with the grammar. It says grammar. Simple past passive plus by plus agent. For example, when the doer of the action, the agent, is important, you can use by to introduce it. For example, three families were rescued by emergency workers. The fires were caused by careless campers. A shopping mall was damaged by a tornado. 
So remember, if you want to mention like, who is the doer of, of the action, you have to use by. For example, man, you can say, for example, a cake was made. No? A cake was made. Para que un pastel fue hecho. But you can to, you can say, okay, if you want to say who who is the who is the doer, you can say a cake was made by my mother. Okay. For example, you can say the house was painted by my father. The house was painted by my father. Okay. Also, I mean, adverse with the passive. A mall was badly damaged. No one was seriously injured. The forest was completely destroyed. Power was temporarily disrupted. Homes were partially destroyed. First, I mean, how do you say the film in, in Spanish? I mean, a mall was badly damaged. El centro mm. comercial está. Fue. 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 Es que el patrón es malamente, ¿no? Dañado. Exactamente. Fue gravemente dañado. Very good, mira, good. No one was seriously injured. Nadie fue lastimado seriamente. Okay. Mira, please, number three. The forest was completely destroyed. El bosque quedó completamente destruido. Okay, exactamente. Fue <coughs> completamente destruido, ¿ok? <coughs> Power was temporarily disrupted. La, el, la electricidad fue temporalmente cortada. Okay. Mira, homes were partially destroyed. Las casas está, estaban fueron, par, fueron prácticamente par, destruidas. Parcialmente. Parcialmente, parcialmente destruidas. Okay. Oh, it says, rewrite the extracts from, from news stories. Use the simple past passive with by plus agent. Add the adverb were given, were given in parentheses. For example, I would read, a fire destroyed an old warehouse, partially. A minor earthquake disrupted power supplies, temporarily. A hurricane damaged a high school, badly. A tornado destroyed a police station, completely. Period number five, lining. Um, lining injured, injured. No. In, injured, injured. Injured two golfers. Seriously, no. Seriously. Okay, number six, man. Catastrophic. Catastrophic wildfires destroy three homes. Very good. Emergency workers. Emergency workers. Reduce to injured, injured hikers in a state park, finally. Very good. Rescued, 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 okay. Okay, number, number eight, high winds, high winds. High winds well down and a 500 year old free yesterday. For example, number one, it says, a fire destroyed an old warehouse. Mira, what is meaning warehouse? Mira, how do you say warehouse in Spanish? Mira. Uh, es que, es que es como warehouse. una cabaña. Casa, casa, mira. Ponle, ponle, mira. Warehouse, mira, bodega. Uh, bodega. For example, let's change them, mira, to the passive voice. For example, you can say an old warehouse was partially was partially destroyed by a fire an old warehouse was partially destroyed by a fire que ya cambió ahora dice una bodega fue parcialmente destruida por un incendio okay okay bien please continue with the other please <clears throat> very good
Okay, ma'am, I will read the first sentence and then you tell me the sentence changed to the passive voice, okay? It says, a fire destroyed an old house partially. An old warehouse was partially destroyed by a fire. Very good. A minor earthquake disrupted power supplies temporarily. Power supply, supplies, me faltuna, were temporarily dis disrupted by a minor earthquake. Very good. A hurricane damaged a high school badly. Uh, a high school was badly damaged by a hurricane. 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 A, tornado, a tornado destroyed a police station completely. A, a police station was completely destroyed by a tornado. Very good. Lightning injured two golfers seriously. Two golfers were seriously injured by a lightning. Good. Catastrophic wildfires destroyed three homes totally. Three, three homes were totally destroyed by catastrophic wildfires. Good. Emergency workers rescued two injured hikers in a state park finally. Two injured hikers were finally <laughs> rescued. In, in a state park by emerging emergency workers. Good. High winds blew down a 500 year old tree yesterday. A 500 year old tree was blew down yesterday by high winds. Very good. Stuck in me. Very good. Okay, man. so let's continue here. It says, lesson B, simple pass, passive plus by plus A. In. I will read. It says, Rewrite the two, the two new stories using the prompts given. Use a simple past passive and an adverb used I by know. where needed. Okay. I will read this. A thief frog in through the roof of a police station late last night. Thinking it was a local business, the roof partial damage when the thief fell through and landed on the floor of the police station. The man quick arrest an officer on duty. Although the man serious, not injured, he immediate take to the emergency room ambulance. Police say the vulgar alarms at the station temporarily disconnect. Premier number two, thousands. Thousands of cars, but the damage yesterday after a freight fuel stroke. There's their cars hit large hailstones in the parking, a lot of, of a local supermarket. One driver's head, her wheels held, complete charter, the store partial fluid in the store. Very good. So, may I say, we have to rewrite four examples. Let's rewrite here, okay? For example, number one, I will say this, okay? He says, I will start with, okay, a, a thief rock in through the roof of a police station late last night. Thinking it was a local business, the roof was, I will say this again, okay, the roof, the roof was partially damaged. Okay. 
Damage when, okay. The tea fell through and landed on the floor of the police station. Okay, man, could you please continue here, number two, and the rest, okay? Okay. Good. Ahí les voy a escribir abajo. Último extensor. Mira, dime. Arrested. Very good. The man was quickly arrested by. By an. Um, Officer on duty. On duty, very good. Um, also the man. Also, I know. Very good, yes. Good. The man. The man, good. A negative, no? Wasn't, but it wasn't. Porque se pone la barra de la opción para lo de la escritura. Seriously. Good. Y aquí podemos escribir. He, he was. Good. Immediately. Immediately. He was immediately taken. Exactly, ma'am. Immediately taken. To the emergency room. Very good. By ambulance. By an ambulance. By an ambulance. Taxi. Good. And Police. Sí, la police, ¿no? Very good. At the, at... Police. Sí, bueno, porque dice well, seis de por, por... Police say the program alarms at the station. Bueno, okay. en todo esto sería, ¿no? Good. Sí, sería was. Very good. Temporarily, very good. Temporarily, very good. This very good. Okay, Dozens of cars. Cars. Yeah. But. We will not to see the cars. Very good. Where hit me? Large? Larger? The cars were. It's cierto. Were hit? Exactly. Were hit. Perfect. By large hills on. Very good. One driver set her windshield. One driver. Good. 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 was complete, completely. Very good. Um, the charter is regular, bro? Exactly, regular. Very good. And so yeah, charter. Very good. The yeah. store. The store Good. was partial, partially. Very good. And in the same case, the flood. Very good. That is regular. Good. In the Very good, man. Okay. Okay, man. Will you please repeat for me, please, William, the, the complete. Version, please. Yeah, a type broke 
in Taos, the roof of a police station late, late last night, thinking it was a local business. The roof was partially damaged when the chief fell through and landed on the floor of the, pol the police station. The man was quickly arrested by an officer on duty. Also, the man wasn't seriously injured. He was immediately, Good. immediately taken to the emergency room by an ambulance. <clears throat> Police say the, bull, the bullglar alarms at the station was temporarily disconnected. Excellent. Good. Primero, number two, dozen of cars. Dozen, dos, do, dozens, dozens, yeah, no, dozens of dozens cars of car. were badly damaged the Saturday after a freight hailstorm. The cars were hit by large hailstones in the parking a lot of, lot of a local supermarket. One driver said he heard winds hailed. Wind chill, wind chill. Winch windshield was completely shorter. The store was partial flowed in their stroke. Very good. What do you mean shatter? Mira. Shatter. How do you say that? Shatter mira, es estrellado. Pero no, no, de, no se refiere a que el cielo es estrellado. Se refiere a que el, el parabrisas, mira, windshield, parabrisas, ok, fue estrellado. Fue And roto. Cuidado bien. A ah, flot, 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 inundación. In, inundado. The store was partially flooded. La tienda fue parcialmente inundada. Okay. Terminan. Very good. Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. okay. So before we go, let's do this one. Listening and speaking, news update. It says, listen to two news stories. Answer the question. It says, what kinds of weather does the reporter talk about? What problem did the weather cause? Who were the people rescued by? Why was the wedding canceled? What happened to the groom? What update on the story does the reporter give? Okay, Mia, so first listen, okay, and then we will answer. Okay. Page 121. Three, listening and speaking. News update. A, listen to two news stories. Answer the questions. Good morning. This is John Cho. First, here is a report on the severe storms that caused so much damage in the northern part of the country last night. Cindy Chavez is reporting from one small town that was hit by the bad weather. Cindy, what's the situation like there? Good morning, John. Well, this morning, the North is waking up to the results of some of the worst storms in 30 years. Throughout the night, the area was hit by thunderstorms, hailstones, and heavy rains. Several small towns across the area were completely flooded, and hundreds of people were left homeless. What happened to those people? Were they rescued? Yes, John. Many people were rescued by the fire department. However, the scary thing was, some people couldn't leave their homes because of the floods, so they had to climb onto the roofs of their houses and wait for the fire department to rescue them in boats. And have the people been able to return to their homes? No, not yet. Many are staying with friends and neighbors, and others are staying in school buildings in towns near here. Fortunately, no one was badly injured, Though, of course, many homes were seriously damaged. Thank you for that report, Cindy. Now, I hear you have an update on a story you reported yesterday. Some good news this time? That's right, John. Yesterday, I reported on a young couple who were getting married in a park. The wedding ceremony was disrupted by a huge hailstorm, and the groom was hit on the head by a hailstone the size of a golf ball and he was taken to the hospital. And so the wedding was canceled? Yes, and that was terrible. But here's an update, and it's good news. This morning I was told that the groom was not seriously injured, and he and the bride have set a new date for their wedding. 
a happy ending then to that story. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, Cindy. Next on the news. Okay, so this time let's listen, okay, and answer the question, okay? Okay, very good. Wait a minute. Very good. So let me adjust the volume. Good, good, good. Yeah, yes. Okay. 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 Okay, let's listen to it one more time, okay? Page 121. Three, listening and speaking. News update. A, listen to two news stories. Answer the questions. Good morning, this is John Cho. First, here is a report on the severe storms that caused so much damage in the northern part of the country last night. Cindy Chavez is reporting from one small town that was hit by the bad weather. Cindy, what's the situation like there? Good morning, John. Well, this morning the North is waking up to the results of some of the worst storms in 30 years. Throughout the night, the area was hit by thunderstorms, hailstones, and heavy rains. Several small towns across the area were completely flooded, and hundreds of people were left homeless. What happened to those people? Were they rescued? Yes, John. Many people were rescued by the fire department. However, the scary thing was, some people couldn't leave their homes because of the floods, so they had to climb onto the roofs of their houses and wait for the fire department to rescue them in boats. And have the people been able to return to their homes? No, not yet. Many are staying with friends and neighbors, and others are staying in school buildings in towns near here. Fortunately, no one was badly injured, though, of course, many homes were seriously damaged. Thank you for that report, Cindy. Now, I hear you have an update on a story you reported yesterday. Some good news this time? That's right, John. Yesterday, I reported on a young couple who were getting married in a park. The wedding ceremony was disrupted by a huge hailstorm, and the groom was hit on the head by a hailstone the size of a golf ball, and he was taken to the hospital. And so the wedding was canceled? Yes, and that was terrible. But here's an update, and it's good news. This morning, I was told that the groom was not seriously injured, and he and the bride have set a new date for their wedding. A happy ending, then, to that story. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, Cindy. Next on the news. Very good, man. There you go, okay? So, man, were you ever meant to catch the answers? More ways, because, um, for example, the one is a storm in the north, the, the country. The that problem with the weather, según yo, is for mm. this. Una no habían tenido en 20 años algo así. Very Entonces, good. le causaba problemas a las casas, algo por algo ahí entendí. Exactly, exactly. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, I mean, listen one more time, okay? Just clarify. Very good. Page 121. Three. Listening and speaking. News update. A. Listen to two news stories. Answer the questions. Good morning. This is John Cho. First, here is a report on the severe storms that caused so much damage in the northern part of the country last night. Cindy Chavez is reporting from one small town that was hit by the bad weather. Cindy, what's the situation like there? Good morning, John. Well, this morning the North is waking up to the results of some of the worst storms in 30 years. Throughout the night, the area was hit by thunderstorms, hailstones, and heavy rains. 
Several small towns across the area were completely flooded, and hundreds of people were left homeless. What happened to those people? Were they rescued? Yes, John. Many people were rescued by the fire department. However, the scary thing was, some people couldn't leave their homes because of the floods, so they had to climb onto the roofs of their houses and wait for the fire department to rescue them in boats. And have the people been able to return to their homes? No, not yet. Many are staying with friends and neighbors, and others are staying in school buildings in towns near here. Fortunately, no one was badly injured, though, of course, many homes were seriously damaged. Thank you for that report, Cindy. Now, I hear you have an update on a story you reported yesterday. Some good news this time? That's right, John. Yesterday, I reported on a young couple who were getting married in a park. The wedding ceremony was disrupted by a huge hailstorm, and the groom was hit on the head by a hailstone the size of a golf ball, and he was taken to the hospital. And so the wedding was canceled? Yes, and that was terrible. But here's an update, and it's good news. This morning, I was told that the groom was not seriously injured, and he and the bride have set a new date for their wedding. A happy ending, then, to that story. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, Cindy. Next on the news... I mean, I will tell you, no more comments, but what kinds of weather does the reporter talk about? Well, he basically, she spoke about you know I mean? thunderstorms. <laughs> then she also spoke about hail. Hail storms, and also about um, terrible heavy rains. Okay. Yeah. What about what problems did the weather cause? There are the floods have floods house. Very good. Read the way there. Very good. Uh, the, yeah, Flo so flooded houses, flooded houses, casas inundadas, flooded houses. I'm going to be right there because flooded houses. <laughs> and I have a double one. And, and homeless people. And homeless people. Excellent, Mina. Very good. A causa de la inundación, pues dejó a muchas personas sin casa. Okay. Very good. Okay, who were the people rescued by? Según yo son friends and neighbors. Friends, na neighbors, and fire department. Friend, friends, neighbors, and fire department. Excellent. Brilliant. Why was the wedding canceled? You know? The storm. Exactly. Because of, I said, because of, a causa de, because of a hail storm. Because of a hail storm. Excellent, Miriam. What happened to the groom, Miriam? No entendí que es groom, por eso es no la escribí. Ah, el, el novio. Pero el novio, mira, que ya está vestido para casarse. Ah, no, no entendí esa parte, por eso no. Ay, Miriam, por ejemplo, ahí lo digo. He... He was hit on the head. He was hit on the head by a big hailstone. Hailstone. Examine and good. What update on the story does the reporter give? Lo que escribí yo this morning, Bill Willing. Very good. Very good, man. Very good. Good, 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 good. This morning they did they did the wedding. Yeah. This morning they did the wedding. Excellent, Miriam. Very good, Miriam. Good, Miriam. Miriam, congratulations, Miriam. You have made progress on your listening skills, on your grammar. Very good, Miriam. Very good. Let's Thanks. keep working, Miriam. Let's keep working like that. Okay, your progress is great. Okay. Congratulations, Miriam. See you tomorrow. Have a great night, Miriam. Take me much, Miriam. Night, night. Thank you. Night, night. Thank you. Thank you.